What's good, sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. So this video is based off of you guys asking me this question, and also people in the streets always asking me, how do I keep my sneakers so clean? As you guys can see, these are my lightest color sneakers, and as you can see, they all basically look clean as hell. The reverse shattered backboards, a pair of EQTs, Air Max Zeros, Sterling Ronnie Fogs, the U2 Customs that I did, and the Triple White NMD Prime Knit. As you guys can see, if you pause the video, you can see that those shoes are almost 100% clean. There's really no dirt on them at all. And really all I do is just be very careful when I walk and when I wear them. Mainly on the occasions that I wear them, like if I know I'm going to go to some place where I'm going to get my shoes stepped on or it's going to be somewhere like crazy, then I'm obviously going to go with a black sneaker. Or a sneaker that's all black, like literally triple black from the top to the freaking sole. And I did wear this out to a hookah bar the other day, which is like kind of like a club as well. And I got them stepped on a lot, but obviously no dirt. But I will say that I wore these out to Wynwood one night and they got completely dirty, especially all over the toe and then like dirt marks here and there. And I thought that I completely destroyed the shoe, but fortunately enough, crep came through. Their product does work really good and it cleaned everything. As you can see, it looks 100% new. My shoes do look dead stock other than the fact that the bottom is dirty, but that's from walking on them. I mean, there's some dirt right there on the bottom, but that's from the glue and the dirt that gets on there, it's really not going to come out. These customs did get stepped on at SneakerCon, but luckily enough, I was able to get crep wipes for free since they were giving them away, and I used them on the toe box, and now the toe box is 100% clean. I'm not going to list through all the other shoes that I showed you guys, but it all just comes down to basically be careful how you walk and where you walk. For example, you don't want to walk in grass because under that there's dirt, and as you walk, you do flick it up, and that does flick up on your shoe sometimes, and also the green chlorophyll from the grass can get on your shoe and also there's little things in the grass that stick onto your shoes, so that does get it dirty as well. So that has to do with being careful where you walk and also how you walk. I mean, over times, like, I used to hate getting my shoes dirty and I always wanted to keep them clean. So I would have like a weird walk and I'm pretty sure every sneaker has been through like that stage. And now it kind of just grew on me as well, so I'm kind of careful when I walk. But yeah, one big tip, wear the right shoes to the right occasions and you should be good. But that being said, don't be afraid to show your shoes. You do want to show that off sometimes since your shoes are part of your collection and you're not just i mean if you're collecting you're collecting them but some people like to show off their shoes so don't be afraid to wear them out they can't always be cleaned by any cleaning products most preferably crep and i know i mentioned them a lot i'm not sponsored by them by any chance but they are a really good cleaning product which is why i like to promote them on my channel a lot anyways that pretty much wraps up today's video if you guys have any other questions let me know in the comments below if you guys have any suggestions for videos also leave them in the comments below I will respond to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by April 22nd, which is my birthday. One more thing before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is... <laughs> the fan of the day is QNGM. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Our sneakers are now. Make sure you stay woke. Peace.